Thanks for coming. Here we go with yet another spoiler. Ausmane and his friend are put on great deeds, but it seems they got lost. Finally, they are able to reach what seems to be a place where illegal fighting takes place. They're on the trail of a villain they have to arrest. The fight is bloody. The world is ecstatic. The two are still unable to find the one they are looking for. It seems that the person in question is the one who just won the fight in the ring. He looks completely different from what the two cops knew. Ausmane refuses to call for help and decides to intervene. He announced to the loudspeaker that Diaz is to be arrested. He handcuffs the latter, but he attacks and sets himself free. A fight begins in the ring between Ausmane and Diaz. Ausmane finally asks for additional help. Diaz was kind of snaring Ausmane's ass. The help is late to show up. It looks like they're lost. Eventually, the special troops manage to help Ausmane, who solves the situation. Captain Monge is checked by a therapist. It seems that he is unable to get along with it and avoids as much as possible the main topic of the discussion. It's about Clarissa, an extremely skillful thief. It seems that Monge would have resorted to an unusual interview with Clarissa, inviting her to a restaurant if she snitched on her partner. Francois Monge is not disturbed by his attitude. It seems his department mates are disturbed by his superiority complex. He also invites the therapist to the restaurant. He seems to be lucky, as the two cross over the restaurant and end up in a bedroom. Ausmane is also in a superior's office. It seems the world doesn't agree with his method of catching Diaz. It's got too much attention. It seems to have come to the attention of the ministry. They want Ausmane Diakite to become the image of the police. Benoit Mios, the communications director, is to help Ausmane be more visible online. A lot of work will be done on Ausmane's public image. People are trying to take advantage of the fact that the arrest went viral. Ausmane thinks the real reason is that he is a likable black guy. Monge returns to the office, visibly disturbed by the attitude of his colleagues and the fact that he constantly calls for it. The world tries to explain to him what his problems are, but he refuses to understand that he is the problem. Ausmane gets home and catches his son with a girl. Captain Monge is in a hurry to get to the platform to greet his parents. As he drove them to the parking lot, he discovers a body at Lion Station. Ausmane and his partner are also called in for this case. The director of communications follows Ausmane to film him, but the latter prevents him from doing his job as much as possible. Looks like Ausmane knows Francois. They were partners a long time ago. Ausmane is the head of the criminal division department. He has a team to work with. Francois also works in section 12. Ausmane thinks Francois slept with the wife of someone important to have left the criminal division out of the blue. Francois comes with Ausmane to see the department headquarters. One of Ausmane's colleagues is distracted by attempts to turn him into a viral cop online. Francois wants to work with Ausmane on this case. Francois slept with Yasmin, a girl Ausmane liked. Ausmane has to go to a small country town, and Francois wants to come with him because he knows the area very well. Eventually, the two leave together, as Francois has resorted to a trick and forced the hand of some superiors. Alice Gautier is the local police officer who will help them. Francois does not waste a second and starts to make sweet eyes. Alice is much more interested in Ausmane. Alice is having fun at the expense of her two political preferences. The world is irritated by the extremism of many. Looks like half of the body was found in this town. A former prisoner convicted of drug trafficking. It seems someone cut Kevin Marshall in two. He was also shot two times. The three are headed to the crime scene. Francois is asked to talk to the criminalists, while Ausmane remains with Alice. Kevin was shot, causing him to lose control of his motorcycle and crash. Francois has discovered something. Alice and Ausmane seem to be working very well together. They're piecing together the details of the murder. Francois is extremely cringe. Ausmane and Francois leave together. Francois is disappointed that Alice is not interested in him. The provinces of France are very picturesque. At the victim's mother's house, the two try to find out more about the deceased. Francois does not bypass the subject and tells Kevin's mother that he was killed. The woman has a panic attack upon hearing the news. She begins to tell the two about her son's life. Ausmane and Francois try to reassure the woman. Kevin had a workshop where he spent a lot of time. Kevin had a lab where he was probably producing drugs. He was spending time with a girl named Jessica. The two go to meet her. She works in a strip club. Ausmane goes to the back to look for Jessica. He needs Francois help. Ausmane's having an interesting conversation with someone in the bar. He was attacked by racist remarks. The two are starting to fight. Meanwhile, Francois is sitting in talks with Jessica. Kevin was involved in some extremely dubious business with his friend, Snitch. Ausmane destroys the bar while fighting the other man. 
It seems that he does not react well in crisis situations. He cannot keep his calm. Francois is not too handy and is late in helping him. Francois uses the electroshock gun on the guy in the bar and manages to bring him down eventually. Not only does he take him down but he kills him. The guy seemed to be on drugs. He was extremely aggressive. People in the small town are extremely racist. They left a message in their car. At the station, they meet Alice's boss, who doesn't seem impressed by the way hostilities took place at the bar. He wants this case to be completed as soon as possible. The three go to the restaurant to try the local delicacies. Continue the delicious discussions. Francois is disturbed by Ausmain's advances in Alice. The mayor of the city is also the owner of the restaurant. He comes to meet the two police officers from Paris. He also wants to solve the case as quickly as possible. It is clear that he is disturbed by Ausmain's presence in the city. The two partners must spend the evening at a modest hotel because of the low budget the local police have. Moreover, due to the mess, they have to share a small bed. The three cops go to the security firm Carl worked for. Francois proposes that he be the one to lead the discussion. But Ausmain has other plans. He likes to make his way in. Goran Jurdik is the one who runs this security company. It seems that those employed here are extremely aggressive, and most likely consume steroids. They all have the same tattoo, belonging to the sons of the Clovis group, a discord group. As Jurdik says, a group of racist people most likely. Francois is trying to open Carl's locker. Ausmain continues to annoy those in the room. Francois is coming back, and he holds what looks like to be the gun that Carl used to shoot Kevin. Jurdik and his boys are released because they seem to be guilty of nothing. Francois and Ausmain must also go to Paris because the case has been solved. Ausmain doesn't think the situation is as simple as it seems. He is still wrapping his head around the sons of Clovis. He decides to stay in town and look for Nader. Snitch, Kevin's friend. He works in a La Surtag center. When he sees Ausmain, he decides to run. After multiple attempts and a series of accidents in the shopping center, the two manage to catch Nader. Snitch says he didn't want to be in touch with Kevin because of the sons of Clovis. Apparently, Kevin was scared enough of them, and he ended up calling the police. Chief Mercier, a policeman who came to them, promised to help the two drug dealers. Mercier did not tell him that he had spoken to the victim several times. Maybe Mercier was involved in the murder. Ausmain and Francois are starting to chase Mercier, convinced that he is involved in illegal business. They follow Mercier to a sumptuous villa. It seems to be the mayor's house. The mayor and Chief Mercier are old friends. Ausmain is direct and wants to know if Kevin was selling drugs to the sons of the Clovis gang. The mayor, disturbed by Ausmain's attitude, decides to threaten him veiled. He decides to attack Francois too, who suddenly becomes disturbed by the mayor. The boys continue to follow Mercier, but he escapes when another car appears and tries to throw Francois and Ausmain into the abyss. They manage to escape, but their pursuers do not. Yasmin calls Ausmain. The drugs used by the people in the area are extremely dangerous. Francois interrupted their conversation. There are a lot of people involved in the story. Alice comes home and is scared of Ausmain and Francois, who were waiting for her in the dark. All three are trying to understand the reason for the deployment of forces in the small town. In the evening, Francois told Ausmain that he had messed with Yasmin because he was jealous of his success. Ausmain doesn't seem very impressed. Francois tells Ausmain he has a free way to Alice, but she hears them from the other room. Awakened, Ausmain finds Francois making Alice sweet eyes. Alice asks them to wait for her to bring the files, to check them together. Ausmain seems to have other options to solve the situation again. He doesn't want to involve Alice, so he decides to enter the mayor's house when he is not around. Ausmain finds the mayor's secret office, while Francois continues to do the boils. Francois follows the mayor's wife as she takes a shower. They can't find anything in the mayor's house. He surely must have another secret room in the house. It seems that the mayor and his boys are planning a series of coordinated attacks against those of a different religion or color. The attacks are expected to take place soon. Arriving in a deserted part of the city, they find the sons of the Clovis gang ready for a big attack. Mayor Brunner makes an extremely aggressive speech, preparing his men for assault. Ausmain comes up with the idea that Francois should integrate among extremists because it is easy for him. Ausmain begins to hide the gang's weapons, while Francois makes his presence felt inside. Alice appears, who seems to be involved. She threatens Ausmain with a gun. Alice is taking Brunner's side. The two begin to fight, but it is extremely difficult for Ausmain to react. Inside, the boys realize that Francois doesn't have a bomb on him, so they want to attack. Ausmain immobilizes Alice. Ausmain jumps in Francois' help. It is as if they are fighting against an army of zombies. 
In the madness created, the two lose sight of the mayor. The mayor flees, aided by Alice, who had managed to free herself. Ausmain and Francois see the two and head towards them, regardless of the difficulty of the route. But it seems that Alice and the mayor have escaped and can implement the plan. The problem is that Brunner's phone doesn't work. Ausmain shows up and goes straight into using his car. The mayor escapes and continues to try to implement his plan and seems to succeed. He arms the bomb. Ausmain and Francois have less than three minutes to save the situation. The mayor is trying to destroy a building where refugees live. The two police are starting to evacuate the building. They succeed, but they remain in the building, which bursts into flames. To Brunner's satisfaction, the lives of the two are in danger. Miraculously, the two escape and catch Brunner. The mayor is convicted of terrorism-related activities, and Francois and Ausmain were barely congratulated for their success. The two officers seem to make a great team together. The proof is that they manage to solve a complicated case. Ausmain does a favor to Francois and proposes him to become the face of the national police, and he is surprised by the idea. There's a new case coming up that the two cops have to solve. Now that you got your spoilers right, go watch the full movie to find the missing parts. Subscribe for more videos like this one and leave a like as it really helps us. Thanks for watching.